Hey everyone, my name is Tim with Razorback Off-Road, and today we're going to be doing the installation video for the 2024 Razor XP door bag set. We're super excited about this brand new product, so let me show you some details. One of the best things about this is the mounting system. So it's very quick, you'll see that in just a second. We don't use straps, buckles, 3M tape, nothing like that, but you also don't have to drill into the machine. We're just using the existing holes and the hardware that already are there on your XP. And then adding in a couple of these push pins and then using these holes, mounting it very quickly, very easily. You just need a screwdriver. I'm gonna be using an electric screwdriver because I'm lazy, but even if you just have hand tools, there's no torque or anything like that, super, super easy. So let's go get that done and then we'll talk a little bit more about the back. Okay, let's open up this door and I will show you how you're gonna figure out what hardware you can reuse and where we're gonna put the push pins at. Set down the screwdriver for now. So on the back here, you're gonna see all these holes and those correspond to the stock locations on the XP door. This is the passenger side and you can see that if I hold it up here, it actually fills that, that gap here and it follows the body lines of the XP as if it was a stock component already. It doesn't block the door handle or any of these pockets, the push button release for the door, absolutely nothing. The screws that we're going to be reusing are this upper one, this middle one, the back one, and the bottom left. So those four, and then there's gonna be holes. Once you get those in, that automatically align, and that's where your push pins are going to be going. In my screwdriver, I've got a T25 bit. They're all Torx bits, so super simple, one size. So let's zip these out. So I've got all those Torx screws pulled out. Um, if there's any question on which ones that you need to remove, you can actually look at the bag, line it up, and you can see this one's easy to get to with a screwdriver. Inside the pocket here, there's two more holes up in the top portion, so those are easy to get to with a screwdriver. We're not gonna ask you to try to get down inside here with a screwdriver, because it's very difficult, but actually, there's a pocket to remove that foam. So if you ever need to replace it, or if for some reason it does get wet, um, you can always pull it out, but we're gonna pull this out and there's another screw hole down there. So then that tells you that that's an easy one to get to and that's the last one. So three on the, on the top, one in the bottom corner. Okay, and the final step where you need to replace one of the screws is just underneath this knee pad down in the bottom left corner. So I'm going to take this foam out. It's a little bit tough, especially if you just pull these out of the box, but the foam is nice and strong. So give it a bit of a tug and it'll come right out. Now that the foam is out, you should be able to see that grommet right here in the bottom left corner. And I've got the last screw that we pulled out before putting the bag on. So I'm just gonna get that started with my fingers and then we'll grab the screwdriver, tighten it up, and we just have the push pins left. All right, we've now screwed in that bottom left screw. So we're on to the push pins. Before I put the foam back up inside here, one of the push pins actually goes up into the top left. Kind of hard to see from underneath, but if you place your thumb up into the top left corner and then to the right about an inch, you'll feel one of those metal grommets. Or if you look at the backside, it lines up with one of the holes that's pre-drilled on the XP door. So I'm gonna take this push pin, get it through the grommet, and then it's in. So when you're just about done putting that foam inside there, you might have a couple of ripples. So I just like to get up into the corners, smooth it out like you're recovering a pillow, zip it up, and it looks like it came from the factory. The last step is the last two push pins, and those are actually down 
in the bottom parts of the bag. We use the push pins there because it'd be difficult to get your screwdriver inside of there. But if you lift up the flap, you can see both of them pretty easy. And again, just going into the pre-drilled sections there. So got a push pin. Let's get this left one in. Perfect. And then one more for the right side. All right, so now that I've got both of these push pins installed, I'm gonna zip this up, make sure that the foam is zipped up so no water gets inside there. Check my screws and you can see this thing is super stable. It's not going anywhere. We didn't drill anything, so it's not destructive. We didn't use 3M tape. That's gonna wear out when it gets too hot outside. Buckles that are gonna be rattling when you're going down the trail. Just looks and works exactly like a factory accessory, the way that it should have came. Really excited about this, super, super easy install. If you have any more questions, please give us a call, go to our website, watch our YouTube channel. We've got other videos on this. We're really excited about what Polaris is doing with the new XP. We have a lot of accessories coming out and by the time you see this video, they might already be out there. So my name is Tim. Again, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the trail.